exciting. And we're going to keep up with you, man. Uh, we'll probably wrap it up here, but it was, tell me one more amazing thing. Like what, what it just blows your mind about this complex over there in Giza? Okay. Well, what, one thing, this is one of my discoveries with my friend, uh, Bob, uh, Bob Criley, who's uh, an engineer is I discovered the Hemayinu template. Now it's named after the architect, of the great pyramid. I show his placement, his tomb is, is it's so you just strategically located on the plateau and in relationship to the Great Pyramid. In many ways, he's showing I'm the architect of the Great Pyramid by what he did with the, with the measurements of his own tomb and the way it's lined up with the pyramid. So the Hemianu template is a 200 meter, 200 royal cubit square, a horizontal slice of the Great Pyramid. And I've discovered it. It's, it's a long story, but it's there. It's plain there. It's not my invention. It's, it's, it's meant to reveal things. It's this, again, a horizontal slice, a theoretical slice, 200 royal cubit square. One of the things I found out about it is that then and 200 royal cubits is 104.7 meters and 104.7 is an amazing number in terms of converting units and stuff, but it's 104.7. Okay. So what I found is <laughs> pi divided by the speed of light is one oh one one point oh four seven. In other words, it's, it's a, it's one oh four seven meters but it's 200 royal cubits 1047 okay so pi divided by the speed of light is 1047 at the 110 billion scale now the reason i mention this nasa scientists put together for the the national uh, air and space museum in washington dc they've got an outdoor exhibit so you can experience the size and feel of the solar system so it's the 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 sun is the same distance from Pluto, which is a 15 minute walk that way, to a 110 billionth scale. Mercury is proportionally, and size wise too, this size of the sun is a 110 billionth representation of the sun. So when Earth is this big, it's a 110. So the NASA scientists are, have used the 110 billionth scale to make the solar system understandable to people walking down by the National Mall. Hemiunu, whose name means human, the architect of the Great Pyramid, pi over the speed of light is 1047 to the 110 billion scale. Oh my God, that is fascinating. As far as I know, I, as far as I know, I'm, you and me are the only people that know that because I did a YouTube video about it, but as you'll see my YouTube channel is pretty small. It's hard to grow independent channels these days since the Logan Paul incident. And so not many people are going to know what it is, but that's incredible. <laughs> a lot of people are about to know this, man. We have a global audience. I cannot wait to share this with everyone. And we will definitely have to have you back on. Uh, personal note, uh, just to add a little controversy here. Uh, it's a little on the nose, though, that his name means human. I mean, you would do that if you were an alien and your name was alien. You'd be like, no, no, no. Change his name to human. That'll throw him off, you know. <laughs> <laughs> And there, you know what I say? I don't know if his name he means human. I just yeah, learned I, that, that etymologically so many names that like Enoch is inch. I really believe the word inch comes from Enoch. He's the, according to legend, he's the father of metrology. So he was the original guy that he meters cubits foot. So inch is encoded in his name. So I do think Enoch inch, him, you know, human, you know, if I'm wrong, oh, well, who can prove wow. it? <laughs> you know, uh, Larry, you are incredible. I, I would love to have you back on. You're going to be my resident uh, Egyptologist. So we'll, we'll uh, <laughs> consult with you with any new discoveries. Please come back anytime, my friend. You are absolutely fantastic. If you I don't mind... get to it. Whoa. Just a disclaimer, though, just so people know, I'm not an Egyptologist, even though I presented at each Egyptological conferences. My, my degrees are in theology, education, and political science. And so I don't, those are not fields that Egyptologists, you know, I'm not Near Eastern languages, that kind of thing. So I don't call myself an Egyptologist, but I'm certainly an independent researcher. Yes. You're humble and we adore you for that. We all, you're the expert though. Uh, we're going to come to you for this in the future. So uh, Larry, if you don't mind, just tell the folks where they can find you. I'll be linking all of this in the show notes as well. And then we'll, uh, we'll bid you adieu for the okay. day. But... Yeah. Uh, Instagram, it's at Sage Silent and uh, YouTube. Uh, if you did as one word, the Great Pyramid AIP because it's the American Institute of Pyramid Research. So the you know, Great Pyramid is too many. There's too many people that have that. So the Great Pyramid AIP, and you'll find my channel. And uh, for, uh, uh, what else do I give you? Uh, my, oh, my website, uh, greatpyramid.org. You got the you know, I should. I, sh 
I should have got dot com because I was in the infancy. I could have got any name I wanted to back then, you know, but I got dot org because I'm a not for profit. The great the American Institute for Pyramid Research is a is a registered not for profit corporation uh, in Tennessee. And so dot org is the appropriate, you know, the appropriate thing. So great pyramid dot org. Wow. Well, and I know that my wife are gonna, and I are going to be joining you on one of these trips. We've got to do this. It's it's on my bucket list. And now I've got somebody I couldn't imagine walking around there with anybody else other than you. So thank you so much for your time, my friend. This has been incredible. Thank you so much. Well, thanks, Brian. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.